With the Sega CD Model 1, there is a common issue with the CD tray, due to a worn out drive belt. The most common symptom is when you put in a CD, press start, and the tray won't stay closed. This is an easy repair. All you need is to order a new drive belt online for just a few dollars. Then, just get some rubbing alcohol, Q-tips, a Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and a pointy thing like a nail or screw. Go ahead and close the CD tray and quickly shut off the machine while it's still closed. Remove the controller and the wires from the back. Slide the Genesis to the left and lift it off of the Sega CD. Flip the Sega CD over and with the Phillips screwdriver, remove the six screws from the bottom. Flip the Sega CD back over to dump out the screws. Try to keep all the screws from each section in the same place. Remove the two screws on the connector. On the side of the system, slide the lock to unlock. Take the lid off. With the Phillips screwdriver, remove the three screws holding on the metal shielding. Remove the shielding. Next, Remove the top part of the CD tray by taking out the two screws. If you have a CD in the system, go ahead and remove it too. You'll see a black gear in the middle of the CD drive. Using the small screwdriver, gently turn this gear clockwise to begin removing the tray. While you're in here, if you see any dust, remove it with the alcohol and Q-tips. From this angle, we can first see the drive belt we'll be replacing. There is a small black peg at the back of the CD tray we must remove. Press on the latch to release it and use the small flathead screwdriver to remove the peg. You will notice two latches holding in the CD tray. These must be moved to the side to remove the tray. Use a pointy thing like a nail or screw. With a little work, the tray should slide right out. A black plastic guard covers the gears. To remove it, Undo the tab in the back by pressing it in. Then, looking at the unit from the front, slide this plastic guard to the left and it'll come right out. Remove the old belt using your hands. You can see the difference. Then, apply the new belt. This is a square belt, so make sure it's not twisted in application. Next, we'll put the guard back on. This part can be a bit frustrating. Just line up the tab shown with the hole, lay it flat, and slide it back to the right. It should fit snug if done correctly. Snap the back tab into place. Use the small screwdriver to rotate the big black gear clockwise all the way. This will prepare the drive for the tray. When inserting the tray, make sure it is completely even on both sides. Put back in the peg in the back it will snap into place. Reattach the top part of the CD tray using the two screws. Reapply the metal shielding. If you have trouble getting the rightmost screw into place, you can use some rolled up tape. Put in the other two screws, making sure the holes line up correctly. Put back the lock, with the arrow facing forward. Work the lid back onto the system, with respect to the connector and lock switch. Put the two screws back into the Sega CD to Genesis connector. Flip the machine over, and put the six screws in the back. Flip it back upright. Put the Genesis back on top and push it to the right to connect it to the Sega CD. Plug in the controller and all the wires in the back. Turn on the system. Press reset to open the tray.
You'll see a message to press start to close the tray. Press start. And that's it.